The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, along, or I guess, aka Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, buddy. Don't think I didn't hear that rim shot, number one. Yep. Uh, two, <laughs> I'm not real sure where you're at right now. I just spent the last 30 minutes driving straight west right into the fucking sunset. So my sense of sight is uh, basically gone right now. Perfect. But the rest of my senses are very heightened, and my sense of aggravation with you is way <laughs> off the fucking charts. So dude. pretty much no change ever. <laughs> Only worse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Stop talking. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and uh, another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the 2021 Wichita's Funniest Person, Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. I got like... Two more weeks of dealing with this shit, and then you can get rid of that title. Okay, that's true, because um, uh, that oh, contest yeah, is going to go on. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm re happily ready to give up my crown. The biggest <laughs> prize is I don't have to do it anymore. <laughs> nice. Uh, shit. Well, we've got a lot of stuff to go over, a lot of uh, trades and football that we get to go over. we got real uh, shit, horse shit, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated questions and preguntas, and as always, a draft with a shitty situation. But I think our week week recap is probably all going to be the fucking same. We are this is our very first show um, after our very first live show. We had laughing on the sidelines live. What do you guys think? I think we forgot to mention something very very important. Oh yeah, it was our two hundredth episode. Uh, yeah, so that was the whole reason for us doing it. And we never once made a single mention of it. Right, I know it was actually. Uh, I put that on you. Technically, it was episode two hundred one, but we had the COVID episode that was there, kind of a uh, a compilation of everything. Of course, we all knew that was going to happen. That's yeah. why we scheduled it for two hundred one. Right. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, it was episode two hundred. So that was pretty that pretty is impressive. One hundred and ninety nine too many. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it was pretty amazing. Uh, I, I do have to say I had a very, very excellent time. Um, so I'm going to go first, I guess, for a week, week oh, recap. Yeah, yeah. You should I, take the right episodes. Yeah, uh, but it, it was really fucking awesome because uh, so many people made the trip. There was a, a gentleman that is a truck driver that drove all the way from San Diego, California. There was uh, two guys from uh, Wisconsin that drove 11 hours who I ended up uh, hanging out all night with. Uh, and having good conversations and joking around I also. I bet you did. He was like, oh, my God, it's Skeech Magoo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Um, uh, there was also a, a father and son that drove all the way from St. Louis, Missouri, that I got to talk to. Uh, talk to Dad there for a little while, but I got to talk to son. He kind of hung out with us in the, the Wisconsinites. So uh, it was a fucking great night. There was a lot of pictures being taken, but... Um, like the coolest one that I actually got sent to me after the show, days after the show, um, there was, uh, my wife was in the balcony. She was watching, uh, from way up there and she was at a table that, uh, was God couldn't even get her good seats. What a dish. No, I, I, you I are her, a real prick, I put her Scotty. up there for a fucking reason guys. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, uh, she couldn't really hear all that well. Um, so she actually ended up going up to like, like bragging side. about how he married a charity mm, case. Yeah, mm. no kidding. I married deaf bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, Which, uh, so, so you're saying she is hearing impaired. That's fucking gross. No, no, she's not hearing impaired. It was just like the sound up in the balcony wasn't very good. So she actually had to go and like lean up against like where the stair rails were mm -hmm. in order to hear. And somebody snapped a picture of her like smiling and, and kind of giggling and, and actually showed some like, 
uh, she like she was proud of me, and it, it felt really, really good. So that was she's a hell of an actress. Mm-hmm. Nah, that was a good picture, and it's my favorite one. But uh, but God damn it, I had a really great time. It was a, it was a lot of fun to to do it. Uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, how about uh, how what do you think, Derek? What about the live episode? Yeah, it was a good time. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I liked what I think my favorite part was. Is how far I got to sit away from you. That was nice. That <laughs> oh, was my really God. nice. <laughs> yeah, and I really uh, loved how Jeremy fucking incredible hulked that uh, Benny Ogbayani photo I got for him. <laughs> I sure did. Dude, <laughs> I was so excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> I spooged picture frame all over the fucking table. <laughs> it's tacked up. No nails or tape right now at all, huh? Yeah. Uh, she does, my wife, by the way, does not care for the fact that that is right in the middle of the fucking mantle. Right now. <laughs> she claims it will not be there come Christmas time. Uh, yeah. I beg to differ. Yeah. Right. Just draw a little I'm Santa a, hat I'm on Benny Ogbayani. I'm going to put tinsel all over it. It's a fucking decoration. Why does she get all the fun, right? <laughs> She's been begging me for years to join it. Yeah. So, like, not fuck him. He's okay now? No, fuck him. Oh, okay. Just making sure. Fuck him all through Christmas. Right. Yeah. Tis the season for giving, and I want to give him a big fuck you. <laughs> Um, well, I guess. Anyway, Derek, continue. Yeah, you can continue now. That that was that was about all I had. I had a, I had a good time. I uh, drinking, stayed out too late. You were drinking water from Flint, Michigan, and so it yeah, kind of made you sick. P- pounding that water from Flint, Michigan. Yep, that's right. It's the good stuff. It is. Yeah, they, uh, their water is the only one that is uh, proofed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, Not the rapper from D12. No. No, he's no. from Detroit. Right. Well, was. Well, rest in peace, D12. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, how about you, Mr. Jeremy Joseph? What about me? What did you think of the live show, man? I enjoyed it very much. I think that uh, the number of people who came from long distances away to see us uh, is fucking ridiculous. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you people? Uh, I listened to part of the playback. I say fuck a lot. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, like, way more than I thought I did. Yeah. Um, I should kick that up a notch. That seems to be my most <laughs> endearing trait. Yeah. Um, it was it was absolutely overwhelming. I'm I'm looking back at it wondering like if there were people who were wanting to talk to me more that maybe I didn't spend as much time with as I should have. Same. If that's the case, I do apologize. I was not meaning to. Uh, first time that I've ever had people actually wanting to meet me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like that many people wanting to meet me and take pictures take- with me. I. I was very confused by it. <laughs> um, People buying T-shirts with your fucking name on it. That guy. <laughs> How about that fucking guy? He's great. And he said it again. <laughs> uh, you know, those guys who came from Wisconsin. Uh, I'm, I'm horrible with fucking names, but I believe it was Dweezil and Stinky. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, sounds like a couple of Wisconsin I, names. I really, yeah. I really am bad with names anyway, and it was so overwhelming that I really didn't remember a whole lot of people's names. But I remember having some very nice interactions with people. I couldn't believe how well behaved. Yeah, everybody was. That was very nice and kind of a nice surprise. I thought for sure we were going to have to kick people out. Something else that we didn't do uh-huh. during the show, uh, uh, Levi. We didn't really. Yeah, thank I wasn't. Him. I wasn't going to do him. No. Oh, really? No. Oh, no. Dude, no. have you seen the way he wears those pants? Yeah. Are they tight like Bob's? No, they're oh. loose. They're made for fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, uh, Levi Mabe, was, uh, he did all the audio and video at the show, and we should have probably given him a little more of a shout out than what yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we should have. Uh, so job. thank you to him after the fact. Yeah. Why don't you guys all write him? Tell yeah. him thank you. Absolutely. For wearing them loose pants. <laughs> you and Scotty will get the letters to him. Just send them to Scotty. At yeah, one, no, one, stop, one. stop. Y'all fucking stop, damn it. Just call it. No. Three one six. No. <laughs> Four, six. No, no, uh, you jag offs. Yeah, we keep getting a Take, little, little further, cl- in there. Little yeah, closer little bites. Yeah, this is gonna, it's gonna backfire eventually. <laughs> I mean, I can tell you right now, eventually it's just gonna hit. You know, it's really be- gonna backfire. Your anticipation of how many calls you're gonna get. Nobody, <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to talk to you. I don't know. You um, be surprised. Yeah, uh, I can tell you this. I've been sicker than shit for the last couple of days. Yes, you sure have. Uh, so I'm all hopped up on DayQuil and other cough suppressants and shit right now. So just know I'm going to be very focused through this episode. I'm sure you are. Uh, I'm going to be at my best. Mm-hmm. Um, should have done the Ambien. I yeah, should have. Right. Why not? Get in the Ambien and drive. I wouldn't even notice that sun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, while sick, I uh, spent a lot of time in bed watching TV. I watched a few new things. Ooh. Um, I watched the movie Barbarian. 
Okay. It was just in theaters, but now it's on HBO Max. Okay. So it was a real good one. Yeah. Well, I think that was always the plan. Yeah. It, it actually is a pretty good movie, like suspense thriller. It's, it's kind of a horror movie, but not really. Okay. And I, I can't really tell you what it's about without spoiling the whole fucking thing. Okay, so, then don't. I'm yeah. not going to. Well, but I, mean, I, I would recommend it. I think it's a pretty good movie for, okay. for what it was. I bet huh? it's about barbarians. Yeah, probably. I bet. Nope. Nope. <laughs> not, not even close. There's <laughs> it doesn't the word doesn't even get mentioned in the fucking movie. Except yeah. that title. Uh let's see. I, I found a new thing to watch on YouTube. Okay. Um it, it's a She's a British comedian named Diane Morgan, but she does this character. They have like a show, like The Daily Show, like a fake news show, mm -hmm. uh, where she does this. Uh, her name is Philomena Kunk. <laughs> and she is, <coughs> with, she plays this part beautifully. With a K? C. Oh. C U N K. Okay. Um, well, yeah, I guess there is a K at That's the end. That's what of I was it. talking so, about. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, she plays the part of like this legitimate journalist who does these investigative pieces. Very well, except she's an imbecile. And, <laughs> but there's like no music or anything to tell you what the funny parts are. So you actually have to listen to what she's saying and stuff. I, I especially Perfect. loved the part where she, uh, she did a whole thing about time. And she asked some expert, what is clocks? <laughs> that was her fucking question, too. It's like Ali G a little <laughs> bit back in the kind, day. Kind of, except I think people are in on it. But uh she talked about Einstein's famous theory, E equals Mc2. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, but it, it's very good. Um, I also started watching ones that I hadn't seen. Uh, have you seen the wrestling bios on A&E? Yes. yes. Dude, there are some really, really good ones. And I went mm -hmm. back and watched some that I hadn't watched. <clears throat> Rey Mysterio Jr. Haven't watched um, that one. Yeah. Uh, Edge. Yeah. People, wrestlers that I really didn't give a shit about have these fascinating stories because apparently just the road to become a wrestler mm -hmm. is weird and <laughs> then like whatever life you live as a wrestler is not normal it's always going to be interesting well yeah you're yeah. running around with dudes in their underwear for no a shit i mean that's not normal <laughs> yeah. unless you're scotty yeah it's, thanks man and you're on the road like 24 7 like you're going to the next city to the next city to the next city that's why they have smackdown and raw is so they could actually have some kind of time like with their families and stuff but other than that it used to be if you were on raw you were on smackdown if you're on smackdown you're on sunday night heat like it was so ridiculous and that's why they split it up but you're on the road all the fucking time I thought this was my time to talk. Oh, sorry. I just was helping. <laughs> <laughs> Go run around with guys in your underwear, Scotty. <laughs> no. The big people are talking. No, thank you. Go ahead, Jeremy. So anyways, that was basically what, uh, between the show and um, and being sick, that's been my week. So um, yeah. You know, I almost didn't make it here today. Did you not? No. Why? Uh, well, uh, I got... Stuck at a four-way stop yelling, go! <laughs> Fucking go! <laughs> it's your turn! <laughs> that sucks when that happens. And you were yelling that at somebody who was looking at you going, go! <laughs> <laughs> go! No, I know the rules. <laughs> you can't give in at that point. Nope. Oh, and then you both let it. Finally, I'm, finally, you're like, all right, fuck it. Mm -hmm. And you start to let off the the break, and then the other guy's <laughs> like, I guess, yeah, oh, god damn it. <laughs> it fucking sucks. I fucking peel out around the fucking corner. I get so mad. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, you stupid cock-sucking motherfucker. Oh, so you were turning even. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Please tell me it was right. <laughs> no, it was left turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, he really did need to go. Ah, uh, shit. But so, yeah, um, basically that was... Uh, like I say, it was such a, a very fun and enjoyable experience. Uh, our next milestone is going to be uh, first week in January, right? That'll be our four-year anniversary. Yeah, yeah. And because we had such a nice time, that makes what I'm about to say all the harder. Yeah. Um, that, that first show, our four-year anniversary show, uh, will unfortunately be my last show as a permanent member of, of this cast. And... Uh, Finally had it with I, Scotty? I, yeah. I, I was going to give him one fucking guess as to why <laughs> I'm going to leave. Uh, you still can. That, Go ahead. That seems like one too many. Um, shave the fucking beard. Dude. <laughs> I try. I try to go to the fucking get a haircut and shit. Uh, no, um, I have a, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but uh, I have a very minor health issue that is 
I, I can't stress that enough. It is so fucking minor. Is it, it black lung? It's herpes. <laughs> is it? I have my black lung has herpes. Okay, because I know uh, that's a minor condition. They used to get that. It, it sure is. <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, but uh, anyway, it it does not. It's not at all life threatening or or anything to be concerned about. But it makes it very difficult for me to do the show at a level that I would uh, like to be and. That's very frustrating for me, and so I think it's uh, best to get out while the getting's good. So yeah. well, let me let me ask you this: huh. Can you host a podcast? <laughs> of course I can. <laughs> I got, <laughs> once I get rid of my commitment to this, I got nothing but free time. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, it really sucks. But uh, Derek and myself, well, obviously Jeremy, Derek, and myself have known about this was coming legitimately since january the first mm -hmm. i think is when it whenever you told yep. us i mean it, it's and been, you've still done nothing about it i i, I have i've i've done a, a little bit of stuff but um one thing we are yeah. really excited to announce is coming in february uh the sidelines perspective it's gonna be <laughs> jeremy joseph mm -hmm. and myself yeah yep uh, just a two-man show yeah i'm sure this <laughs> Not a lot of bullshit and ums and uhs and unnecessary nicknames and belts. <laughs> <laughs> Just good old fun. Yeah. The way it's supposed to be. No, it sucks, but obviously we're very supportive of Jeremy Joseph. Uh, thank, him, thank him for uh, actually giving us that much of a heads up to try to see a, a suitable guest. Um, I don't think it'll be the last show that you'll be on. Oh, of course not. Right. If you ever so, need somebody to sub in or a special event or whatever, I'll, I'll yeah. certainly or host. be. I'll be around. Yeah, I host every fucking week. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's actually what I'm going to spend that first month doing is learn how to operate oh. podcast equipment. Oh, that's that's going to be my new hobby, guys. I'm going to fuck the woodworking. I'm going to sell all my tools, buy some podcast equipment, and build a desk. I just just <laughs> a hobby. Just you know, yeah. sling stuff around. That's right. Uh, no, it's it's extremely Build hard. A big fucking desk. <laughs> it's it's extremely difficult for, uh, to do all of this shit. Believe me, uh, I I, I can't don't know. imagine that's true. I, Not for most people. Yeah, um, but it really, really. I mean, I, we've got obviously uh, several more weeks left with you, and so we're going to yeah. take advantage yeah. of that time that we've got. But Jeremy told us, you know, he didn't want to say anything at the live show. He didn't want you know we wanted to do that together and and have a, a really good experience, which I think we all did, and so. Uh, but the show I will did, go on. Except for one of you filthy fuckers got me sick. Uh, I, that. I, that has to be it. One of, one of these filthy cocksuckers. <laughs> it's probably Scotty. No, it's probably San Diego. He's in a truck a lot. Probably. He spends a <laughs> lot of time with strange women, I'm sure. <laughs> probably. It's a lot of flying J's. Yeah. But anyways, thank thank all of you guys for coming. And those of you guys who couldn't come uh, is another show. You ever go to a landing, yeah. Jay? <laughs> La no. No, they're always flying. Where, <laughs> where are they going? No idea, Jeremy. That's what this whole podcast should be about, right? Where are those Jays flying? To? <laughs> uh, right off this fucking podcast, both of them. Right. My initials. Uh, <laughs> but thank you, audience, uh, dickheads. <laughs> But thank you to all the people that actually did go. We do appreciate it. And all of you that couldn't go is another show in the future. I have no idea. We just got to see. Absolutely not. You missed out. <laughs> yeah. That was. <laughs> Maybe if you'd have showed up, we'd have had fucking reason to do it. Yeah. Right. Jeremy exactly. might have stayed on the podcast. Might have stayed on the yeah. show if you'd have showed up. That's exactly why. I told you, fuckers. <laughs> I told you. If you don't think you can come, don't buy a ticket. And you didn't heed my goddamn warning. <laughs> you get what you get. Yeah. You reap what you sow. Yeah. Anyways, thanks all of you. We really do appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, the rest of you, thanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> God, you're such a dick. I really am. Yeah, you are. Uh, but anyways. Uh, I, I really <laughs> am actually legitimately so appreciative to everybody who came and yeah. everybody who supported. Absolutely. But guys, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to this show, this is a uh, comedy podcast, if you haven't realized it already. We like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. And uh, it's an adult podcast. We like to use foul language and make loud noises, and we actually use loud noises at that live show. For thing. the first time ever. <laughs> yeah. I still have that goddamn thing in my truck. Uh, uh, by that, I mean, I think my voice. <laughs> I was screaming in the fucking mic yeah, for whatever yeah. reason. I don't know. I think it was uh, so We didn't have headphones on. We couldn't really hear ourselves, so it's a little different. True. Say it. Say it. No? Okay. Uh, but no, we've got an excellent show uh, to get to about the other stuff. Just uh, block him out. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I do want to give kind of a preliminary heads up with this. I actually did invest a lot of money in a camera because I know we've been having video and audio issues the last two episodes. 
bought that camera. It was expensive. And Almost $27, <clears throat> No, folks. it was uh, in the uh, several hundreds of dollars, and it doesn't work. So if you end up having audio issues or, or video issues, I'm still working on that. I vow to actually get that handled. It will happen, but bear with me a little bit. Just tell them you got it with gum wrappers. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you totally. totally in from totally the back of a comic wrappers. book. Jesus Christ. What, was that <clears throat> double bubble or super bubble? No, it was, it was uh, no. What's the, what's the ones where you get the Indian on and you get a free pop? Bull pops. Is that what it was? No. No, Big that Chief was, tobacco? That, that's, that's just Tootsie Pop. Tootsie Pop. Oh, those are the ones. No, there used to be a thing on the back of comic books where you could send in so many gum wrappers. Oh. And they, you'd get like x-ray specs that really worked. Right. Uh, you could get a submarine, sea monkeys. Nice. Cool. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, we got a lot of stuff to get to today. Um, first thing we're going to get to is give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Tootsie n- Rolls. No, it's is, not. Is it candle shit? Is it chocolate? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Tootsie Rolls. You don't know. Uh, but no, it is manscaped.com. Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I am still very well groomed down in my nether regions. Just proof it does work on ladies too. Then it does, uh, I believe. I don't know. Since it works on Scotty. That's, That's right. actually what I gave out to trick or treaters this year. Was it? Yep. Good. Good job, man. No, not manscaped. Man- pu- the, pubic hair. The shavings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> pubic yeah. hair. Yeah. I'm sure they enjoyed it. I, well, they did. They got to grab a whole handful. <laughs> <laughs> you just wrap gross. them up in that that newspaper thing that they give you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Uh, but no, here's, they have. Here's some bibs for you. You can grow them on your face. Get a fake ID. <laughs> you can glue them on your that's face. That's what I meant. Oh, glue okay. them on your face. Okay. okay. Honestly, that's what I gave out was fake IDs. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right. Good job. Come on in. Let me take your picture. <laughs> yeah. We we'll use the blue background. Yeah. All right, Miss Papa Giorgio. Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> Very good fucking callback. Uh, well, or reference to a reference. Movie. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but anyways, go ahead. No. No. That's uh, Vegas, Vegas vacation. Vegas vacation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyways, no, at manscaped.com, they make excellent products to help you keep your downstairs groomed, clean, and smelling nice. Also looking rather, uh, um, what do you call that? In, uh, attractive. More dapper. Att- yeah. I don't know about you guys, but. Dapper scrotum. Dicks look weird. So this, this these products Maybe help your them. dick. Well, that's pretty mm-hmm. normal. <laughs> Mine looks like a dick. Halloween. I don't know what yeah. yours look like. <laughs> yeah. And, Mine in looks fact, like last, the claw machine from Just Toy last Story. week, my doctor said, boy, this is the most penis-shaped penis I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it helps him. Look, like, Scotty, does yours have a finger coming out of it? <laughs> he, no. He, yeah, do you got a toenail on yeah. there? <laughs> no. Oh, shit, Scotty's got a spur on his dick. <laughs> you no. get the happy ending at the Asian <laughs> manicure place? <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like the claw from uh, the uh, Toy Story. That's what it looks like. It's got a grabber. Okay. All okay. right. Well, moving on. Anyways, uh, uh, no, they make excellent <laughs> products. They also make products to help keep your things like your ears and your nose uh, trimmed up as well. That is the Weed Whacker. They have the shears uh, to help uh, you know keep your hands and fingernails nice and uh, nice and tidy as well. Uh, but do go and check them out at manscaped.com. What part uh, of your hand do you shear, Scotty? Your fingernails. You said your shit. hands and your fingernails. And you can use it on your dick, apparently. Got, oh, yeah. You can put that They got that lotion, too, there. bro. Yeah, okay. Yeah, especially when you're putting on that ball deodorant. It's kind of like lotion. It makes them look nice and shiny. I like to put it on one ball just to see if it works first. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, if the other one stinks, then I'm like, and this one doesn't? <laughs> yeah. We're in good shape. Yeah, 100%. I'm left-handed anyway. Right. Yeah. I'm like, how I many of this pass the smell test? Yes, it does. Uh, because all the products at manscaped.com smell great. Uh, you can check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINE get 20% off your order and free shipping. It helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we're seeing these commercials word for word. Singing them. That's what I said. Just to go back and clarify, the fake name used on the fake ID in Coneheads was Donald R. DeChico. Very good. All right. Cool. See, you're not the only one who can make good references to fake IDs. (laughs) Okay. Uh, well, we got to move on to the sports news. Uh, we we got to say it, obviously. This is the first thing I highlighted because Mr. Jeremy Joseph is a diehard K-State fan. I sure am. And they absolutely mopped the fucking floor with the Oklahoma State Cowboys over the last weekend. So congratulations. That was impressive. Yeah. They, they did it with their backup quarterback. Yeah. Um, they beat the piss out of him. It was nice to see him not shit the bed for once. Right. Uh, I mean, he's he's like a he's a solid backup, but he's pretty lackluster. And I didn't have real high hopes going into this, and they just fucking dominated. Yeah, start to finish. Uh, what was yeah. that final? Forty eight to nothing. Four, 48 to nothing. Yeah, Jesus, yeah, yeah, shut them out and beat the shit out of them. You can just like to rub their faces and shit, don't you? Yeah, any chance that I can get. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of a fecal filiac. That <laughs> Good. No, I'm, I'm not an Oklahoma State fan myself, so uh, I'm, I was rooting for you on that one. 
Uh, but That's now, the second top 10 team they beat this year. Yeah. And their loss to Tulane isn't looking so bad because now Tulane is 7-1 and one and ranked 19th in the country. There so. you go. That, that says something about you guys. It sure does. Uh, but next thing, uh, as we're recording this episode, it is uh, Tuesday evening, so we are watching Game 3 of the World, Ser- Se- World Series that we uh, predicted incorrectly. At the uh, live show, we said we were going to hope for the dads in the Astros. Well, and, I figured uh, it was going to be the Astros, but I, or, uh, but I was rooting for the Yankees. Oh, yeah. But uh, that did not happen. The Astros. Did the Astros <laughs> sweep them? Yes. yes. Wow. They haven't lost a game this postseason. Uh, well, yeah. No, they, yeah it's one now, to one. Now they have. Yeah. Against yeah, the Phillies, one one. it's one to one. So, and so. now they're playing in Philadelphia. The game was postponed on Monday for uh, to go to Tuesday because of increment weather. And uh, Incre- well, increment weather. Yeah, it, it was, was increment. It, it, it was coming in a little bit at a time. Yeah, just a sure. little bit yeah. at a time. Yeah, they call those degrees. <laughs> <laughs> you can go Fahrenheit. You can go Celsius. Fuck, go Kelvin if you want. What's the word? Inclement? Yes. In- okay. Inclement. Okay, my bad. Um, but anyways, series tied one to one. Um, I'm fucking pulling for the Phillies. Go Schwarber. Go, go Bryce Harper. Fuck. I, 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 I've never had a reason to root for Philadelphia before. And now I have a big one. Yep. Absolutely. And, and uh, I hope they ended up doing it in Philly. I hope they win every single game and Astros don't win a single one after this or after, after the first one, they won last the other night, whatever it is, but go Phillies. Anyways. Uh, here's a fun fact, though, I wanted to point out. Oh, how fun is this fact? It is be? very fun. So, put on a seatbelt helmet. <clears throat> who would you consider to be one of the best pitchers in the major leagues right now? This doesn't sound very factual, Scott. I'm just saying. This is a question. Okay, but who do you think is? One of the best pitchers in the major league right yeah, now? that is in the World Series. Oh. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Mm-hmm. Well, I know what your fact is, so I'm not going to say that guy. <laughs> Lance McCullers. Okay. Uh, no. Junior. Uh, Justin Verlander. Not the old man. I can't stand him. Yeah, yeah. fuck that guy. Fuck His that fucking guy. curveball sucked. It does. I think uh, he's part wolf. Right. He had to be. <laughs> Justin Verlander currently has the highest ERA in World Series history with a minimum of three, or sorry, 30 innings pitched at 6.07 in well, the World Series. In, in his defense, if he were getting that sweet Kate Upton puss, yeah. I wouldn't be concentrating on throwing a baseball very hard either. Yeah, you really wouldn't care about winning the World Series. No. Right? You, uh, you really already won you life. Have, you yeah. Yeah. did. Yeah, the fact that he's still in the game uh-huh. at his age, let alone fucking Kate Upton. That yeah. puss is magical. It is. That's it sure all it is. is. It's that actual fountain of youth. That's right. I heard that actually this year, that's what they're going to bang on when they... Is that yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, I heard her puss adds about two or three ticks to your fastball. Woo! <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> My and, it, and for some reason, it's so delightful, it's not even considered a foreign substance. <laughs> <laughs> you can put that on the it's ball. It's just now legal. a part of the game. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but anyways, go Phillies. Uh, now we get to move on to football. First, we'll talk about uh, what happened this last week. Uh, first thing I heard that I, I don't think I've been so angry at a single individual for being so stupid. Russell Wilson was working out inside of the aisle on the airplane for four hours on their flight to the UK. And it's an eight hour flight and everybody else was trying to go to sleep. Well, in his defense, there's no room in the bathroom. No, you can't lift weights in the bathroom. He's trying to do try fucking do, try, high knees in the aisle. <clears throat> you try and do fucking uh, burpees in a, in an airport or airplane bathroom. It's impossible. He Scott. brought a full set of kettlebells, <laughs> which is not good on an overseas flight. That's a lot of extra weight. There's Can you dinger. imagine being? I yes, got a boy, Bryce Harper. Woo! Hey, First yeah. time we've ever rooted for him. I know that's totally true. You too, and, not me. Yeah, you, you know how the. Uh, the kettlebells got on the airplane? How? Benny Agbayani. Oh, he, <laughs> he, loaded, <laughs> he loaded them, loaded them on yeah. there. I'll be damned. Uh, but no, this is this dude is getting fucking weird. I, I think he's already be, always been kind of weird, but I think ever since he's been in Denver, he's strange. Well, it's all those hits to the head you don't ever take as a quarterback. I think that's sure. what it is. I mean, it very easily could be, but it's... But he didn't get that. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh-huh. But no, this is this is very strange behavior. Like he wants to tell people that he was working out four hours on the plane. He's trying to make it very public, he, and he's trying to compensate for how bad his he is. Shitty play. <laughs> yeah. He's being paid a quarter billion dollars, and that's stupid by them <clears throat> to play like I could. Honestly, <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, he's he's Trubisky esque. I realize sure. they won this weekend. And that was not mainly because of him. It was because of their defense. Mm-hmm. 
I yeah. Think, I think I don't think you could play that good though, Jeremy. I think you're more on the defensive side of the ball. Probably. Of course I am. Yeah. I'd bring my mitt. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but no, I guess my question is, especially after the the games this weekend, Aaron Rodgers loses again. <laughs> Tom Brady loses it. again. Out of, out of all three of those guys, oh no, go ahead. The best thing about Aaron Rodgers that game was trying. Chris Collinsworth was trying so hard to suck his dick, <laughs> like just, and he had nothing. <laughs> And he's like, well, you know, usually a guy like Aaron Rodgers would drop back and pick you apart, but man, they just they just keep getting to him. You know, a guy like Aaron Rodgers typically can. And then it got to where they they were down like seventeen or something, but they're going into half. Yeah. And they come back out, and it's like the beginning of the first fourth quarter, and they're still down seventeen. He's like, well, you really got to give credit to Aaron Rodgers and this team for keeping pace. I mean, they may not win this game, but this second half, boy, they've just I, matched straight up with them. I honestly, I can't believe, I, I knew that they weren't going to win that game. They weren't so favored to win. But I can't believe the way that they really just laid down. Mm-hmm. I mean, they didn't even put up a fight. They're not good. No, they're not. And but Aaron Rodgers shows what he is without Oh, he uh, just top. sat on the sidelines and pouted the whole fucking time. He's you a, could tell he just, it was like, fuck, do I have to go back out there now? <laughs> He's had a top receiver his whole career. Yeah, mm-hmm. he really has up until now. Mm-hmm. And he he really and doesn't have much. shows what he is. Um. But I, I found something out after I, I legitimately hung out all night with those two guys from Wisconsin who are obviously they're going to be Green Bay Packer fans. They fucking hate Aaron Rodgers, too. Yeah, they don't like him either. Good. So it's like one of those things. It's like, oh, shit, you know, they get it. They have to root for him. And it's a struggle right now. But they don't like him up there either. Yeah. So um, he's the worst. <laughs> but anyways, out of those three guys, you have uh, Russell Wilson got to win, luckily, against Jacksonville. Uh, but Aaron Rodgers loses. Tom Brady loses again. All of those teams are currently now three and five. So out of Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, or Russell Wilson, who has the best chance still to make it to the postseason? Tom Brady. Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Yeah, yep. it's, it's not even fucking close. My favorite was, what was the joke? What do Eli Manning... Nick Foles and Giselle, Giselle Bunchton have in common. They all took a ring from Tom Brady. Ah. <laughs> Giselle took uh, three and a half. So she currently has three and a half more rings than Eli took Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. <laughs> so suck it. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I think we all agree. Tom Brady probably – he has the mo- the biggest opportunity, I guess, to turn the turn the season around, and uh, he's the GOAT. You never you never can count him out, I guess. I love that Trent Dilfer and Aaron Rodgers have the same number of Super Bowl rings. <laughs> Best. <laughs> oh, I love it when you're happy. Yeah, I just <laughs> – fuck, man. I just watch those games hard. Yeah. And you, yeah. Know, you know what? The Bears didn't really look all that bad this Oh, they week. look goddamn awful. I love how you, you give up uh, six offensive touchdowns, Jeremy. Six. Six! <laughs> and uh, their solution was to trade their best defensive player <laughs> for a fucking second and fifth round pick. Yeah. That's, that's awful. That's pretty stupid. Awful. Uh, uh, almost as dumb as what they did today. Okay, well, we'll get to the trades here in a second. Uh, Give me just a second. We're going to get through the, the last couple bits here. Um, next thing, uh, the Raiders get shut out in New Orleans 24 to nothing. What is the problem in Las Vegas? Is it the coaching staff? Is it the quarterback play? What is it? Uh, it's it's yeah. bad. They are it's talent. talent. It's yeah. talent. They're a talented group of individual players, but they suck. They can't come, like, get over the mountain for the love of God. Like, they can't close out a game to save their life. And in this particular game, they got fucking just beat the they, shit out they got shut out by a mediocre team correct um yeah i don't know really what the problem is but uh they got to do something yeah um I'm, hey, somebody's gonna lose their job very it's, soon and it sucks because it's mcdaniels and it's his very first season being a head coach since coaching the broncos like he's been an offensive coordinator uh, in new england forever and now he gets an opportunity and they suck and maybe that's just where he belongs i maybe. mean given the talent that's on that team you should be at least competitive yeah and they're not it's pretty pretty crazy um, and then obviously we had Monday night football to wrap up the week and the Cleveland Browns absolutely steamroll the Cincinnati Bengals just ran all over them with Nick Chubb. Um, Kareem Hunt, really? Uh, the both. Did a lot of it. Uh, Chubb had two touchdowns, bro. 
Like yeah, they all like from, every offensive from inside piece. The five. All, all every offensive piece still like is just doing things uh, during this game. Everybody yeah. was a good piece. So um, did you hear the mic'd up shit? Jacoby Brissett at the end of the game was like talking shit while he was <clears throat> like doing running through his cadences. Good. Good. Like sitting there going, I almost got you outside, 55. <laughs> <laughs> Good. That's Jacoby Brissett talking shit to you. Uh, yeah. You know, NFL runner-ups. Yeah. The AFC champions. That's That was my There's question. There's something bad going on there. That, that was my question because now the Cincinnati, no Chase. The, the Cincinnati Bengals are currently now 4-4. Four and four. That you're right. They didn't have Jamar Chase. They're still a way more talented team than Cleveland is. Are they still a Super Bowl contender right now? Not without Chase, you're not. Okay, if Chase, well, Chase is obviously going to come back. If you have Chase, I think Cle- I think Cincinnati wins that game. I still don't. I think Chase completely can change the dynamic of a game. I I, I I still don't. I think Burrow. I think there's something with Burrow. So I just I I don't know. I mean, he missed all of the preseason uh, yeah. with the appendicitis. Right. Uh, I guess he lost a fuck ton of weight, mm-hmm. and most of it that he's put back on is just from eating. He's yeah. fat. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, no, it's okay. You're going well, to it is when you're a dynamic NFL quarterback. Right. You'd probably rather that be in muscle mass. Um, and then lastly, we'll talk to or talk about the trades. Uh, obviously, trade deadline ended at uh, I think what was it four Three. p.m. It was it was four p.m. Eastern uh, on uh, Tuesday afternoon uh pretty much the biggest trades you had bradley chubb to the dolphins that's surprising mm-hmm. but you got chase claypool to the bears for a fucking second rounder <laughs> last year amari cooper got traded for a fifth rounder <laughs> a second and not even the baltimore second rounder at the back of the second round yeah our second rounder which is probably going to be like the second pick in the second round <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Great. Speaking of Chase Claypool, he's got a lot I, of potential. Normally, I don't, uh, I don't like talking fantasy football. It's never interesting to anybody. But my team did something that I've never had a fantasy football team do this weekend. I had three different players on my team throw touchdown passes. Really? Yeah. You have McCaffrey too. Yep. Oh wow. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I did that. Mm-hmm. Uh, totally. That was uh, totally on me. Right. And I- so we're giving McCaffrey the week off. I did. Uh, I did beat the shit out of Scotty this week. He, he sure he as fuck sure did. did. Derek. Derek drafted a team that he basically just had to get to week six. That's what I said. And once he gets to week six, he's gonna be pretty damn good. And he did. I scored the the league average to win a win a fantasy football game in our league is a hundred points. I scored over the league average at one hundred three. Derek beat the shit out of me with one hundred thirty one points. Yes, uh, I left two guys on the bench that each scored thirty. Yeah, and wasn't upset. No, no. Yeah, I had Pollard and Deonta Foreman on the bench. Yeah. Good I've going, won buddy. four in a row now, and all of a sudden I'm in fourth place in the league, and I still haven't broke 100 points. <laughs> that <laughs> was my just, first time breaking I'm, 100. Yeah. I'm fortunate enough to play people when they have their worst weeks. Yep. That's but right. I'm in playoff contention as we speak. So, uh, And Derek's wife lost for the first time this week. Uh-huh. Yeah, yep. She lost when she married me. but yeah, That's true. She sure did. So uh, twice. Right. Once mm-hmm. all day, <laughs> and then once on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, TJ Hawkinson to the Vikings. I can't believe that went in the division. I can't either. But I, I think it's uh, man. I what'd got, they get what did, for him? What'd they get? Yeah. Um. They got. It's all picks. They didn't get any. Sure. They didn't get anything across the board. But I think it was like uh, their second rounder. And if I got to look it up, I don't. I, I don't want to doubt Dan Campbell because I think he he's awesome. But. Um, God damn, it's tough to be a Lions fan right now. He it didn't really trade sucks. Dan. Dan Campbell didn't trade him, though. I know, but I think he maybe it came across his desk. And it, I mean, I don't know. Because that really, other than Amon Mara St. Brown, that's pretty much your, your star athlete as far as offense to throw to. Jamison Williams, but I don't think he's going to play this year. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Jamal Williams is a good backup to DeAndre Swift, but when DeAndre Swift he is had hurt, a thirty point sucked. game, yeah, this week. he did. He looked good, but it's just their defense sucks, and so that's what they've got to they've got to basically stack up, get all the draft picks, get all the young defensive players that you can get, and maybe next year it's going to be a little bit more positive. Uh, Naeem Hines to the Bills. 
Who? Naeem Hines. That was a running back for Indy uh, Indian, for a while. Indianapolis for a while. He backed up Jonathan Taylor. I was going to say, he's probably not, not getting much playing time. He's not, so it's actually kind of beneficial to both teams because the Bills struggled during the run, or in the running game. But Singletary one, is a weak fucking runner. He really is. Um, but the one that surprised the shit out of me was Calvin Ridley to the Jacksonville Jaguars. I would have rather have done that than Chase Claypool. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Um, I, but with the Bears, I'm not surprised, though. That's, that's oh, no, meaning we're dumb as fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure that we get that point across. My favorite was after they traded Roquan Smith. Oh, the, the smart, the other thing, too, about that Roquan Smith trade, uh, they're like, well, he wasn't re-signing, and he only had a year left on his, or this was the last year of his deal. Okay, hmm. then why not trade David fucking Montgomery? <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> and you have Khalil Herbert. You have Khalil Herbert behind him, yeah. That makes no fucking sense to me, but there's somebody who's like, we're going to have... They, they listed out all the picks. They're like, we have, this is before the Claypool trade. Like, we got a first rounder, two second rounders, a third rounder, two fourth rounders, a fifth rounder, a seventh rounder, and $155 million in cap space next season. We're going to be active. And I'm like, well, they need to be because they need to sign a whole fucking team. <laughs> so they're going to have to be active oh, with man. eight picks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you're almost getting there. And uh, it's it's really tough to get fans excited about two fourth round picks, right? Oh God, yeah. That most of those guys aren't on your team. No. So, fun fact about the Bears: they have more guys drafted outside of the top three rounds, I believe, than they have drafted in the top three rounds. Which is well, then I guess there's reason to get excited about those two fourth rounds. Yeah, 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 buddy. Uh, that's basically first round of them. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, that's the sports for this week. Uh, now we get to have a little bit of fun. I think. Uh, we're going to move on to a segment we all like, which is called Real Shit, is Ho- <laughs> Real shit or Horse Shit. Uh, yeah, we, take, we talk uh, a little bit about some certain things, whether that's real for us or bullshit or horse shit to us. First one, we're going to go with, when taking a shower, I will let the water run down my arm, making it look like I'm shooting water out of my fingers like I am Aquaman. Bullshit or horse shit. Uh, that's not what Aquaman does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He but, he controls water <laughs> and he talks to the sea animals. Okay. But uh but yeah, he doesn't shoot water out of his fingers. <laughs> what a <laughs> dumb fucking power. I, I got super soaker hands. <laughs> do you do this though? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. It's real shit for me too. Uh, this is one of those guy things that we just we all fucking do and we think it's like fascinating or something. How about you, Derek? Uh, I, no, <laughs> I don't. I don't see Derek as a fun in the shower. No, guy. no, he's not. I'm, it's all get business. In, get out. He doesn't That's, even. It's business. Get down to business. Scrub up. Get out. Yeah, uh, maybe, get in there. Maybe even skip the scrub up. Part. I think so too. I think it, he doesn't even use soap. I yeah, think asshole, was... armpits, crotch, and teeth. That's all you got to wash. <laughs> Jesus. I get this portion of my chest really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so clean. You can eat off that. You tell me, Jeremy, do you take like your hands and cup them when, and like put all the water that you can get in there and then just like let it fall and make a lot of noise? No. Okay. No, I, I'd kick the shit out of anybody who did that, to be honest, if I found out they did it. It's a good thing I don't do that. That's um, wasteful. That's one of our most important resources. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Real shit or horse shit, instead of periods, men have commas. They happen less frequently and have no physical side effects. However, being very irritable and the utter hatred for everyone around them is very comparable. I'm going to say horse shit. Okay. It's not a comma. It's just those three dots because it's like never ending. <laughs> I, I am that way all the time. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have. The, the side effects being a fat piece of shit, maybe. Maybe. That might be the physical side effect. But uh, uh, I am ir- I'm irritable and I hate everyone a lot. Um, this is for me, this is totally real <coughs> shit. Uh, it happens more often than, than you'd think, but it's definitely not a monthly thing, but there will be days where I am just irritable with everybody. I'm kind of a prick. Um, it, it's just, it definitely happens to me. And I, I can attest that this is real shit for me, Jeremy. The world is full of retards. <laughs> <laughs> everybody but me is stupid. <laughs> a guy came from San Diego to see us for fuck's sake. <laughs> That's just proof positive. <laughs> I should be angry at the whole fucking world. <laughs> okay. I'm appreciative of that guy, but that's dumb. <laughs> that's a waste of time, man. Um, and gas. It, <sighs> diesel, Scotty. Oh, diesel, sorry. No worries. You drive a truck, man. That's true. You're right. Big rig. 18-wheeler. Yeah, I know. My I bad. think it's a hybrid. Probably. I bet it is. Electric. 
It's it's all electric. All electric. He's okay. got a. That's why he had to stop here was to charge. Yep, that's he right. He didn't actually <laughs> care about the show. He just want need to charge that truck. Just stumbled right in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I hate people. I. I am. <laughs> I am in a constant state of of rage or suppressed rage. That's <laughs> my two emotional states. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit. I will sometimes drink way too much, stay up Real late, shit. and buy random things oh. off of Amazon. Sorry, I should have let you finish. <laughs> you had me at the, I drink way too much sometimes. <laughs> uh, that's re- absolutely real shit. It's 100%. Yeah, I don't buy so much off Amazon as I do off eBay. eBay, Amazon, yeah. all of them. I'm it, like, oh, there's an autograph. I'm yeah. going to make an offer on that. They mm-hmm. won't take it. Oh, shit, they, they took they it. They took it. Yep. And, and then your wife gets picks, pissed off. Uh-huh. I'm like, uh, <laughs> honey, uh, we bought something today. <laughs> Guess who owns a dime bag Daryl autograph? <laughs> It's like who the fuck is dime bag Daryl? I'm like I don't know either, but it seemed like it was more than a, or less than a dime. So, honey, but we got to make him famous. So this is worth something. <laughs> yeah, I'm way overpaid. Honey, I do know who that is, by the way. I know uh, we're gonna get chastised for that. Yeah, honey, I bought I bought Jeremy a picture. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, I bought Jeremy a Benny Agbayani picture. <laughs> And he's going to love it. How much did it cost? You're pretty. <laughs> Don't worry. I got you one, too. <laughs> it's going to go right next to the centaur. Yeah, that's right. How about uh, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, no, this is horseshit for me. Yeah. I, I rarely drink. Last time I drank too much, I screamed fuck into a microphone way too many times. Um, other than that, it had been several months since I drank. Yeah. And when I do drink, I don't generally get the the urge to buy things so much as just yell at my wife. Nah, that's right. And not only that, you're generally in bed pretty early just with your whole ambience. I sure am. Yeah, so that that uh, that makes perfect sense. To be honest with you, I can't believe that I've never... I, I think this is where my computer illiteracy comes in very handy. I think with the Ambien, if I really knew how to work electronic <laughs> shit, I probably would buy a lot of things. <laughs> Honey, I got you another Christmas tree! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't uh, think we had enough! <laughs> Exactly. By the way, that's what she's at home doing. I guarantee you. Halloween she is. is down already. She took the day off to take Halloween down. <laughs> oh my god! And start with the Christmas. Well, she's got some uh, what she calls fall stuff because apparently Thanksgiving decorations aren't necessarily a thing. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's the precursor to Christmas. I like uh, to imagine her just touch down, spiking shit into a box, singing jingle bells like all the Halloween stuff, where it's like. <laughs> Fucking nightmare before a jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. You're not wrong. Um, <laughs> right before uh, I came here tonight, she was very upset. She has this big porcelain turkey, and she dropped it. <laughs> oh, really? And broke it into three big fucking pieces. So daddy's got some gluing to do when he gets home. Nice. Uh, man, another uh, while we're recording, another home run for the Philadelphia Phillies, and this is by Alec Bohm. By the way, he played uh, baseball at Wichita State University. By the way, so okay, go get him, homeboy. Um, Wichita is not a state, but a state of mind. That's right. <laughs> um, next one, real shit or horse shit? I get exceptionally angry when someone does not silence their phone during a movie or live performance and receives a phone call. I get. No real shit. I get angry when they even have it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if you're texting, like playing a game, whatever, the, the, go the fuck home. Yeah. Go home. Yeah. If you're it's, if it's a concert, you know what? Nobody wants to see what that band looks like through the lens of your the screen of your phone. Put the goddamn phone yeah, down. You're never gonna show this to anybody. Living it's like fucking taking video of fireworks. <laughs> Just mm-hmm. stop it. Yes. Just live in the goddamn moment. And if if I'm in a fucking movie and someone gets a phone call, I'm throwing my drink in their face. <laughs> and, and they can be all the way across the theater. And as soon as their phone comes on, it's all that will have your attention. That's oh, right. for sure. You can be looking right in the middle of the screen and some asshole way the fuck over there has their phone out and you'll be like, <sighs> yep. I make that noise a lot. <clears throat> That's true. Um, yes, this is 100% real shit. And I've got another shout out that I wanted to give out. 
There was a young you lady. Whore. No, there is a young lady that came to our show. Obviously, had never heard us before, or her. It's probably her husband just showing them, showing her clips of it and stuff like that. That young lady sat down in the very front row and and kind of took a little bit. Of, I don't want to say shit, but we were obviously trying to involve her as much as we could. She didn't get out her phone once. <coughs> she didn't get up and go to the bathroom. She stayed there the entire time. Buddy, marry that woman if you haven't already. As much Put as I was yelling. It. Fuck, could you imagine what would have happened to her if she would have? Woo! She did not look like she was having a good time. No, she did <laughs> she not did appear not. to be. <laughs> no. But she, but she freaking powered through, and I give that that young lady a uh, a round of applause. Good good for you, and uh, yes, this is 100% real shit for me. I powered through, too. Yeah, you did. With a lot of yelling in the mic. Scotty <laughs> power bottomed. <laughs> he sure did. Yeah. With those uh, Wisconsinites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, and last one, real shit or horse shit. When I am grilling, I always give the tongs two test claps for no fucking reason. I do that with everything. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Not even if I'm grilling. Like, if I'm starting my car. Oh, All right, really? here we go. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I just carry them around with me. This is 100% real shit. Oh, you do it with tongs. Yeah. yeah, yeah you don't, like, have the door slam it twice. No, 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 no. no, no. no. I'm not fucking weird. <laughs> Yeah. No, you just, you just carry tongs. tongs. Just carry yeah. tongs. Yeah. Right. Right. tongs. Absolutely. Yeah, this is 100% real shit. And Redneck this is, chopsticks. This mm-hmm. is this is with tongs. This is with uh, whenever you get a, like a drill out to do it, you always got to tighten it up and zzz, zzz, every single fucking time. Uh-huh. So real shit for me. Sometimes if I'm not even drilling anything and it's just sitting in the garage, I'll walk by. <laughs> and, <laughs> all right, back in the house. Still I'm, works. He's exactly right. How about you, Jeremy? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Dude. Could you imagine anything worse than those things not working? <laughs> right. How, how are you going to know? <laughs> you gonna how your, are you going to know? Flip your steak with a spoon? What's yeah. your problem? Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. It's disastrous. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, now In we, what way would tongs malfunction, do you guys think? Actually, they I, do. They totally do malfunction. Yours do. Uh-huh. I got some really nice ones, and they're actually Apparently made. Apparently not. No. <laughs> 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 they're made in three pieces. You've got the part that comes here, and then they have two, and they're individual pieces. I've had one of them come out before. Is it supposed to do that? No. Well, then they're not that nice. They're obviously Honestly. not. But that's why you give them those two test collapses, so you make sure they don't fall out. Is that what happened when they fell out? Is that what made them fall out? Yep. Sometimes you got to do that thing. If too, you do it three your, times, it will fly. Fall. Sometimes you got to do that thing with your tongue too, where like click, click, and then you just ah. yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. I do that to all my nine volt batteries, <laughs> right? <laughs> just to make sure they work, mm-hmm. baby. All right, right so, on the tongue, right on the balls. That's right. All right. Well, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is bad advice with Jeremy. We get to take some um, some situations from certain people that send them t- uh, send situations to our Instagram, and it is called bad advice with Jeremy. This week we've got one from a T underscore Ray underscore two thousand and three underscore Jesus Christ. Uh, but he writes, dear Jeremy. I am a 19-year-old, and I like a 26-year-old girl. How do I tell her that I like her and ask her to go on a date with me? (sighs) (laughs) I am disgusted by this age discrepancy. I'm going to be honest with you. Six, seven years between the two? Oh, my God. That is just absolutely fucking gross. My wife's only five and a half years older than me, by the way. Um... Yeah, uh, I can tell you this uh, for the best advice possible. She is not interested in you. (laughs) If she talks to you, she's humoring you. Um, But, you know, if you really want to win a woman's heart, uh, finger paintings. (laughs) Maybe make her some some macaroni art. Uh, You know, show her how you can tie your own shoes. Um, You know, let her know that you can stay out past 10 if you want. Uh, Your parents said it was okay. Um, You know... Maybe maybe you pay for a nice rental car for your mom to take you out on that day. <laughs> uh, leave the Raider, Razor scooter at home. That's what I would do. Uh, you know, other than that, you know, uh, tell her about how you know if it you're going to get a job one of these days, <laughs> and uh, pull your dick out. <laughs> I really didn't give this really any thought at all uh, because I just don't care anymore. I'm leaving the fucking show. So that's my advice. Well, we got Thanksgiving here in a few weeks. Maybe make her a hand turkey. Oh, Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, Women love hand turkeys. They do. Oh, and refer to her as mommy. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, Let her know how mature she looks. <laughs> Let her know that you can eat off the big boy menu when you guys go out to eat. Sure, yeah. you've got hair down there, too. <laughs> Unless you get a manscaped. That's 100% Absolutely. right. Uh, but yes, guys, if you have any uh, suggestions for bad advice with Jeremy while we still have them, you can send it to us uh, at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram, and Jeremy will look over those and see if he likes any of them. So, anyways. None uh, of this. I'm going to put a lot of effort into those. Really? A lot. A mm-hmm. lot. I'm, I'm going to definitely waste a lot of my time with that. Go out with a bang, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Again, random things that uh, they're either overrated or underrated. It's self-explanatory. If you don't understand that, you're dumb. Uh, first one, overrated or underrated soap opera TV shows. God, you know, I would like to say underrated just because some of those things have lasted for like 35 <laughs> fucking oh, fuck, years. You're not kidding. The same series for that alone, I should say that, but fucking overrated. God damn uh, it. I like watching real soap operas. Do you ever work in a restaurant? Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yes. Who's fucking who this week? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to go uh, overrated. Yeah. Watch uh, the real shit. Yeah. Uh, it, it is so overrated. I I cannot stand it. It's like it's got like that really ominous background music that drives me nuts. And then the other thing is it's always either zooming in or zoom, zooming out. It's never a stationary fucking view. And that is the least of which that pisses me off about soap operas. I fucking hate them. Jeremy? Uh, I, I absolutely despise soap <laughs> operas. They, they actually bring back horrible memories for me uh as a kid like when i'd be at home sick uh hearing the theme song to a soap opera meant that price is right and sesame street were done (laughs) and and there's nothing gonna be on because we only had the three channels remember yep uh there was gonna be nothing else on that was worth watching for the next six hours oh what seemed like a goddamn eternity so awful it really was i know uh, I, I actually have tried as an adult to get into a soap opera, mm-hmm. and I just can't. I can't pick something up in the middle of a story. I thought you wanted to act in one. Sure, I did. He could. <laughs> he still could. Doctor right. Joseph, paging Doctor Joseph. Right, and and they keep offering me the the part of the porn star. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's in all Weird. my children. Uh, but anyways, uh, next one. This is a uh, fan suggestion. This is from a very good fan, uh, Mr. William Regenthal. Uh, he As wants, opposed to the bad fan who got me fucking sick. Right, that way. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know overrated or underrated obituary bumper stickers. I'm going to go overrated on those. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to tell you something. If you don't fucking go, you're going to be <laughs> you hit that four-way stop. You're going to get reunited with Jason real quick. Real quick. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, these are overrated. Man, it's just... <sighs> That's just not something I think everybody should do. I mean, some people, I guess it's okay, but for me, definitely not. I've uh, got a lot of people that have died that I really don't want to put on my car. What if you buy a used car and it's already got like three of them on there? Like, do you? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, hang on a minute. Let me scrape this shit off real quick, like right in front of the guy. Hang on. All right, here you go. Oh, that's so bad. How about you, Jeremy? Well. Here's the thing. Uh, I think they're overrated because I don't understand what the point is. When people tribute something, they say, in loving memory of, you know, whoever. And that's like if they're dedicating like a new building in the memory of somebody or whatever. Basically, you're dedicating your windshield. Yeah. (laughs) Or your bumper or whatever (laughs) to that great back window of my Ford Fiesta. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Goes to Thomas. <laughs> this is the Dave Williams Memorial Bumper. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I mean, literally, when you say in loving memory, that means you're dedicating whatever the fuck it's on yep. to the, the memory of that person. And then eventually you're going to sell that car. <laughs> <laughs> this is Brian's back glass. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because uh, Brian went out through the front glass. <laughs> Can't dedicate that to uh-uh. it. No. That's gone. That's bad luck. <laughs> All right. Insurance won't let me put it on, <laughs> on the front windshield. <laughs> okay, next one. Overrated or underrated? Peeing at the short urinal when a little person is in line now having to wait on you to finish. Oh, underrated. <laughs> Anything that involves a little person is fucking underrated. <laughs> Getting beaten to death by a little person, underrated. That's how I want to go. Yeah. Yeah, that is fantastic. You ever been, on a, on a side note, 
You ever been taking a shit in the bathroom in the handicap stall and you, know, you see wheelchair tires <laughs> oh, come yeah. in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man. Oh, do you, you have to limp when you come out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I come out and I just go, Corey. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know how you flush? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. A poo poo. <laughs> oh. Can you wipe me? <laughs> That's so terrible. It sure is. It right. sure yeah. is. Uh, yeah, this is underrated as hell. I think it's absolutely hysterical because I'm one of these people. I'm one of the little people. I'm not short, but if you went to the live show, God damn, you know, I'm short as fuck. Um, I, I really enjoy being able to choose <laughs> the fucking big boy stall. But if there's somebody who's significantly you have to stand smaller, tippy-toe? yeah, whenever you have to stand or whenever somebody's significantly shorter than me behind me, I'm going to pick that stall, even if all of the other ones are available. So, yes, this is underrated. It fucking reminds me of that Billy Madison scene where Adam Sandler's at the small urinal and he's trying to, <laughs> he's squat, trying to down, squat down and then he <laughs> ends up falling over. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Good stuff. <sighs> is it my turn? Yes, yeah. it is. Can you tell that the uh, cost of presents kicking in? <laughs> <laughs> you haven't coughed I, once. Yes, I can tell. I want to. <laughs> <laughs> My heart wants to. Um, no, uh, I've never actually been in this situation where a, a true little person uh-huh. is doing it. But I have to say, I would imagine that it's underrated. Any time that you can get a, a little person mad... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and and angry midget are the funniest midgets. Honestly, <laughs> they stomp their little feet. I like to imagine there's bells on the end of their shoes. You bet there is. I like <sighs> to think they do the up down crossed arms, like the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they pout like Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! All right, next one. Overrated or underrated? A week long vacation to North Korea. Ah, uh, underrated. Drastically underrated. Tell me why. Because I'm off work that week. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't care what I'm doing. I'm off work that week. That's a week true. of oppression is better than a week yeah. of work. A week of house arrest. Underrated. Okay. Yeah. Oh, how nice would that be? That would be oh, great. Right? To be put on house arrest. Oh. We just went through COVID. You don't know what that was like? Yeah. No, not really. Because uh, drank a lot. I kind of blur. Yeah. <laughs> it was okay. I had trained for that my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is actually very surprisingly something to me would actually be very underrated, very underrated. I'm being very serious. I have a fascination with this particular country and, and know a lot about it that if you gave me the opportunity, I'd probably really want to go, but there's a good Where's chance I'm not coming back. So. They have the best <laughs> podcast equipment over there, Scotty. <laughs> They've got working cameras. You should go yeah. get one. Oh, man. Uh, it's just the strangest freaking culture to me. And so I would say it's underrated, but I wouldn't go because I wouldn't come back because they'd kill me over there. Anyways, Jeremy? Jeremy? I like their politics over there. <laughs> I do. Uh, I, I like just basically everything about the place. Uh, no, I would not want to uh, spend a week over there. However, just the ability to be able to do it would, would be kind of cool because that means you've got some kick-ass security clearance. Yeah. <laughs> You're somebody if you can make that happen because they don't just let anybody in there. You've got to be Dennis Rodman. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> or somebody. Yeah, that's true. It's like getting to the Viper room in the 90s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. No, I think that week-long vacation would probably turn into a decade long, and you'd wind up with uh, bamboo shoots under your fingernails. Oh, yeah. That's not fun. Yeah, that's, a day that's with that's bamboo tough. shoots, though, still better than a day of work. That's, that's right. what they say, yeah. <laughs> All right, last one. Overrated or underrated, taking Viagra while working as a mall Santa. I have to tell you right now, I don't need Viagra to get me hard <laughs> doing that job. Uh, oh, no. A lot of mills, Scotty. A lot yeah. Of mills. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go overrated for that. I'm, I'm not going to spend my good and hard money on Viagra. I've got to buy kids <sighs> toys to make up for why I woke up in their mother's bed in the next morning. So nah, Yeah, no kidding. Uh, yeah, this is this is overrated. This is something that will probably get you a sign in your yard that reads registered sex offender. How so, do they put signs in your yard for that? Yeah. That's that one weird judge that does shit like that. Yeah, it's true. But yeah, um, normally they make you go around and tell, tell everybody. everybody. <laughs> yeah. Scotty's just lazy. He just got a sign. Yeah, exactly. How about is, you? Is, really? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. No. Yeah. Didn't you see it when well, you pulled you, up? If you don't, you will. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, 
what now? <laughs> what? What? I've never worked as a mall Santa, so I don't know. I don't know. Would it be fun if you had if you were rock hard with kids getting on and off your lap? Oh, that suit material is pretty soft. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. No, because one of them's gonna sit on it and bend it. <laughs> Probably the first one. If, yeah, probably. Yeah. If not, eventually one of them. And I don't know if you've ever had your dong right angled before while it's hard, but <laughs> oh, it's not fun. I don't think it'd be fun. All right. But now we got to move on to uh, my, uh, well, no, actually, this is Jeremy's favorite part of every single episode. He's going to miss it. Um, I'm not. Questions and preguntas. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, you can send those suggestions to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. Make a note, Derek. This is a segment we can do on our new podcast. <laughs> actually, I already got that down here. Okay, fine. All right. First question. <laughs> questions. First question. Hey, Siri, <laughs> how do you say questions in French? <laughs> what does it say? Questions. <laughs> They're not a very innovative people, those French. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like they literally great. gave up. Oh, yeah. That's Again. So awesome. We have questions and questions. Questions. All uh, right. <clears throat> it sounds too Canadian for me. Right. First question. What is something that actually is better late than never? Girl getting her period. <laughs> oh, you damn right. Absolutely. It is. That's, as long as it happens, I'm a happy guy. Oh man, I'm 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 dreading it. I'm I'm waiting for it to come and knock it. My best friend when, uh, in Illinois, uh, whenever he lost his virginity, uh, after he was done, the first thing he said to her was, uh, "Call me when you get your period." <laughs> God damn. She did. She called him, <laughs> but uh, yeah. they didn't fuck again. That was that. Yep. Uh, mine's pretty fucking simple and easy. Mine's win the lottery. It, it definitely, I'll take it late than never. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Jeremy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Derek took mine. <laughs> Okay, fine. Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, breakfast for dinner. It's not mm -hmm. so bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says we're poor like mm. breakfast for dinner. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> Even rich people do it. They just do it fancier. <laughs> right. Okay. They call it brunch. Uh, next one. What is something that... Uh, oh, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I started reading that one again. What is something you would like written on your coffee mug? Well, some of them have like world's greatest dad. Yeah, I like. I would like mine to say went for cigarettes. Brb. <laughs> uh, I've got a couple. Okay, call me when your period comes. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the obvious one. Uh, world's best podcast host, and then the last oh, one. You're never getting that one. I know. I just figured I'd say it. Unless uh, Trophy Smacks sends it to you. <laughs> they, they might. Yeah. Um, this probably isn't coffee. That's probably the most obvious one. But yeah. Okay. Jeremy? Snapper masher. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Next one. What is a song that you can't resist singing when it comes on the radio? Derek? Mm. Regulators. Okay. Uh, Nate Dogg. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Nate Dogg and Warren G. Um, I, how, many, how many was in the clip? What's that? Oh. How many were in the clip? 16. Oh. Oh, one 16. We went in one in the hole, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was trying. What's he getting at? <laughs> Nate Dogg is about to make some bodies turn cold. Now they drop it in the oven. It's a tad bit late. Yeah. Nate Dogg and Warren G have to regulate. If it comes on the radio or comes on the jukebox, somebody put it on. Uh, it's one of Derek's uh, favorite songs. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it, especially uh, if you come up and sing it to him, if you see him in public. And that is just a small town girl uh, living yeah. in a lonely world. Right, Derek? Kill yourself. <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Uh, tequila. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> I love that fucking guy. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. 
the guy that actually made it into the second round of The Voice or America's, America's Got, Got Talent. Talent, and he just did that. Yeah. Fuck that And he guy. doesn't even do it with any inflection. <clears throat> no, he tequila. just tequila. Tequila. Great. Good for you. Uh, okay, uh, next question. What's a strange question to ask God? God, is squirt just pee? <laughs> oh, yes. What up with that? <laughs> it kind of is. I found that out. Sure smells like it. <laughs> and tastes like it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that meme that a guy has. A, it's just a bundle of asparagus. It's like, tonight we're going to find out the answer one way or the other. <laughs> Uh, can, can I just say on, on a personal note, uh, <laughs> ladies, if you are a squirter and you're with a guy, give him some heads up. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, that's just fucking rude. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I, I, again, I have two. God, who actually shot JFK? That's one. And then my second one is God... Why did you make the earth round but the moon flat? That's mm, fucking crazy. That is. Why? It really is. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Jeremy? Um, well, mine is, is actually much more in-depth, and it's a Bible-related question. Ooh. Uh, it has to do with when, when Moses, uh, when, when God first encountered Moses, he came in the form of a burning bush, and he, uh, <laughs> when, when Moses, uh, when told Moses to go and, and tell the people, uh, he asked, who should I say has sent me and he said basically that you don't get to know my name uh, just know that i am is what he said and then in the first fucking commandment he said i am the lord your god do not take my name in vain <laughs> how can we <laughs> we don't know what it is <laughs> yes son of a bitch i think popeye took his name in vain all the time <clears throat> yeah. sure did i yeah. am what i am <sighs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Last question. What did Adam and Eve really do to get thrown out of the Garden of Eden? Ask God a bunch of stupid fucking questions. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> called them preguntas. Yeah. <laughs> questions. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I God like, hates French people. I yeah. like to think that since it's the Garden of Eden, I think a Adam probably took like a, a banana and ate it. And then mm -hmm. put the peel over his dick. Was like, check it out. <laughs> check it out. And God's like, all right, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here, Adam. <clears throat> Um, actually this was, this is, this is not common knowledge. Um, him and Eve actually started writing the, the very, uh, awful story of fast and the furious, which would <laughs> then create all of those shitty fucking movies later in the future. And God said, Nope, we ain't going to have that shit. Get the fuck out. So that's mine. And it still wound up happening. <laughs> it still did. Jeremy. Uh, I think that they were thrown out for uh, rebroadcasting games without the expressed written consent of Major League Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's good. Very well done, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Oh. <laughs> Might be my favorite answer you've ever had. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, guys, ladies and gentlemen, that is... Uh, no, it's not. No, it's not? No, drunk pack of cigarettes. What? Huh. That's still my favorite answer, Jerry. <laughs> drunk, guard. drunk pack of cigarettes was beautiful. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that is uh, questions and preguntas. Uh, now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft brought to you by me. That's it. By me. By you. I'm bringing yeah. it to you, baby. Great. Okay. All right, uh, let's no, move on. <laughs> yeah. All right, keep laughing, assholes. No. Uh, but no, anyways, uh, we had a draft on the live show, which we had a guest uh, come up and uh, draft with this Tyler Cordy. Uh, thank you uh, very much to him. What an excellent fucking uh, guest. Yeah, thanks he for getting me sick, you prick. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, but no, he actually ended up uh, kicking all of our asses uh, for uh, our favorite um, bands that Jeremy Joseph has managed. Uh, one with flying colors, so hats off to him. But you're not here, so guess yeah. what? You don't get to reap the benefits of those championship picks. But uh, uh, By the way... Yeah. Can I just say something about, uh, you know, with me announcing me leaving the show? Sure. 
for all the people I know that uh, are going to be like, hey, can I take Jeremy's spot on the show? Uh, let me stop you there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with it. You can really take Scotty's spot. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, um, so uh, Derek came in second, Jeremy came in third, and I came in dead last. That's pretty much par for the course, I think. Jeremy didn't win his own band. I, I know. know. That's surprising to me. I think it's because I went with some some more obscure stuff. Probably. <laughs> but, I mean, let's face it. These people don't know music. That's right. <laughs> they certainly don't know podcasts, that's for sure. Right. Uh, but anyway, so uh, this <clears throat> week's draft, I think, fits in with the, uh, I don't know, the holiday that's uh, coming to an end. Um, we all, uh, you know gave out candy for Halloween this year, and we had some very strange trick-or-treat costumes, so we are going to do a draft for the worst trick-or-treater costumes of 2022 uh, that we saw. So uh, I get first pick, and uh, I I couldn't believe this. This was uh, kind of a very strange one, but I kind of like it. Um, I had a young gal come up, and she was dressed as uh, Queen Elizabeth's ghost. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. It, okay. it was, uh, yeah, it was kind of kind of dark, and, and I like dark humor. But, uh, yeah, I like that one. Uh, so how about uh, you, Jeremy? You get that for or the next pick. Dickhead Mike. Dickhead Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know uh, how that guy dresses? <laughs> <laughs> like a dickhead. <laughs> just all his clothes, just dickhead clothes. <laughs> oh, my. That's, that's a tough one, man. Uh, Derek, I was like, God, you're a dickhead. He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Derek, how about you? You get two. I had kind of an obscure one. Yeah. Uh, like one of the first trick-or-treaters we had uh, rang the doorbell. It was just a girl in like an old-timey kind of like dress or skirt. Mm-hmm. And I didn't realize what she was until I saw the medal around her neck that said second place hide-and-go-seek and realized she was Anne Frank. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, so man. She got two candy bars. That's Yeah, she should. Yeah. And then uh, you get another one. Um, n- another one that was really weird. Uh, we had a, a kid dressed up as Ron Jeremy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was like, I don't know how you know who that guy is. That's impressive. But I, yeah. It was very impressive. I'm surprised. I'm surprised his dad was kind of supportive though. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, Jeremy next one. Uh, well, this one really surprised me. You know how you get like those two person costumes, like a horse or oh, yeah, yeah. whatever. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, I think it was an older brother and a younger brother. Cause one was quite a bit bigger than the other, but it really surprised me the way that it worked. Uh, Penn State assistant football coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. The younger brother did not seem to be enjoying it <laughs> at all. No matter how much candy I gave him. Oh man. All right. So I get two. Um, I, I had a I had a pretty fun one. I thought it was pretty clever. Um, there was a, a kid that came up, kind of dressed like back in the seventies. So he had like those you know big huge glasses that were kind of shades, but not really. And he was handing out Kool Aid, and uh, his name tag said Jim Jones on it. I thought that was a pretty good one. That's yeah, inappropriate. No, I don't think so. Uh, Did cool. he have a flock? Uh, no, he did not. But yeah. but the, that <laughs> Kool Aid was fucking nasty. <laughs> he did. They were all very tired. <laughs> yeah. So he was a cult leader. Uh, my next one, uh, I, I was very surprised by this one as well, especially parents. Uh, I had a I had a kid uh, who put on a, a costume that looks a lot like Vicky, uh, but painted it kind of white, and so he was a scary sex doll. It okay. was really weird. I, he made me put the candy just straight into the mouth. Maybe he was just a full sex doll. It could have been. <laughs> it could have yeah. been. Yeah, uh, just yeah. all the way to the brim. Yeah, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was those two. Uh, now, uh, Jeremy, what about you? Oh, is it my turn again? Yeah. <laughs> Benny Akbayani. <laughs> <laughs> Never good. I, I, I hate having to tell a kid, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Derek, you get two. He got all almond joys. I'm sure he did. He deserved those too. I had a, I had a, like it was a, a kind of a newborn kid. Mm-hmm. And so the parents were taking they call the trick it a baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Call it was it. a baby. Yeah. Uh-huh. Baby, toddler, just probably about one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and and his dad was with him, and it was kind of they did like one of those cute two part costumes, uh, and his dad was the dick in the box guy. Oh yeah, and then oh, the yeah. kid was a box. Oh, <laughs> so oh, that was uh, oh, that, yeah, that uh, was. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, and you get another one. Uh, very next kid that came up right after that 
racist cop. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah. I could not believe it. I don't know if I could put this on Facebook. <laughs> okay. That's what he was. Okay. I was like, you, you knew. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Yeah, you should have said, you should have heard the word he said, the way he said trick or treat. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> He, you you answered the door and you're like he's like yeah you're okay <laughs> <laughs> move along yep. uh, Jeremy yeah next one this was probably the one that annoyed me the most <laughs> oh, I found this so fucking obnoxious Scotty's beard <laughs> <laughs> some kid came dressed as your it's Difficult to tell the difference between Scotty's beard and Dickhead Mike. Honestly. <laughs> they are both so obnoxious. I'm I'm kind of guessing that this was probably the same person. They just came back wearing another costume to get more candy. That's probably what it was. Well, I was only giving out floss. This oh, year, so. okay. well, maybe maybe Keep not. Keep those then. teeth clean. Okay, uh, so I get two. Um, the first one I thought was very creative. It was uh, it was kind of. De- I mean, it's definitely homemade. He tried to make himself look kind of like a. Oh, not quite a tornado, but but kind of in the same vague shape. Uh, and then he had a name tag on that said Ian. So he, I had a kid dress up as Hurricane Ian. Thought that was pretty clever. And then I had another one. Um, so for my final pick, uh, I, he had to explain to me what he was, but uh, it turns out he was a World War III survivor. So uh, mm. kudos on him. That was, uh, wow. Did he glow? The yeah. only one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was radioactive as shit. All right. Derek, your last... Oh, no, this is Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy, this is your last pick. Uh, This one made me very uncomfortable (laughs) that he uh, showed up to my house. Uh, San Diego truck driver. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Man. Oh, okay. How did you get this address? (laughs) He had been going door to door every fucking house in town that night. Until he found it. Okay. Made up some bullshit story about how he scheduled his stops to where this just happened to work out. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, Derek, the last pick of the worst trick-or-treat costumes of 2022. Oh, man. This was probably the most, it was the worst probably, but the most creative costume I've seen of the night. It was the last kid we had come to the door. Uh-huh. Uh, he was actually dressed as a white trash transformer. Oh, wow. Yeah, like you you could kind of tell, and then he actually like was able to morph into a trailer house. Oh, perfect. So it was, wow. Yeah, it was amazing. That's crazy. Yeah, I gave him the rest of the cigarettes. Nope. I'm like, there you go, buddy. You enjoy those. I think he was actually trick-or-treating with that uh, Hurricane Ian kind of fella, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Might have been. Yeah, so. Double wide prime. That's right. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, I am going to attempt to put this up on Facebook <laughs> in a way that only the people that listen to this episode will understand so it stays up and doesn't get taken down. Uh, but you can go to Facebook.com and vote for your favorite list of the worst trick or treater costumes of 2022 that we saw come to our doors. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. For this one, we got to get the way, way back machine all the way back to 1905 back in New York City. The Big Apple, they call it. Ah. Uh, Nobody calls it that there, I'm guessing. (laughs) But this was uh, during uh, morning rush hour traffic. The 9th Avenue train was traveling at its its normal route, going its normal speed of 30 miles an hour, when it was suddenly and mistakenly switched to a uh, different track, which uh, put it onto a 9-mile-an-hour curve. That's not good for trains. Uh, The front car miraculously was able to stay on the tracks, but the second car uh, was not. It was thrown off of the uh, trestle and down onto the street. By the time that it came to a full stop, it had killed 13 people and seriously injured another 48 more. And what day of the year did it happen on? September 11th. (laughs) Wow, that's foreboding. Yeah. Huh. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, I love New York. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Uh, so if you uh, uh, listened to the episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines Live, we talked about how there were two shitty situations that we were debating on doing for the live show. We did the one we did, which in my opinion was a, a much better selection for that particular situation. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't have worked out for this one. I couldn't have uh, called no, that. He, no. I'd have had to call him on the phone and tell him I couldn't talk. That's right. <laughs> Uh, so this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather have a vagina on your forehead or have multiple penises up and down your back like a stegosaurus? Hmm. I I don't know, man. I, I kind of like it when my wife puts her vagina on my forehead. I think that's a fun time. Is that Kay. all we're talking about? No, like it's it's you have one grown on your forehead. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a part of you. Oh, yeah, it's it's anatomy. Oh, is it penetrable? Yeah, it's a vagina. It's a vagina. Oh, it's damn it! it. Yeah. That's skull fucking a whole different name right there. Yeah, yeah. Can it, it get pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, nah, I think nah. so. I don't. Think All right, fair I'll, enough. It's, okay. a, it's a fully working vagina. Yeah. Yeah, no. I'll change my answer. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wear a headband like five day, five days a month. He's <laughs> just gonna walk around going yeah. like this. Uh, no. And then it gets that red spot in the middle of it. People think you're Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> or Indian. Um, anyways, I, I'm definitely... Why you, got, why you gotta ruin the joke? I'm just, why you gotta just ruin calling the it out, man. Joke. Uh, I am definitely going with multiple penises up and down my back, and I'm giving Derek a piggyback ride. So that's uh, how that's gonna work. He's gonna have a good time. How about you, Derek? Well, I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, I'm I'm going with the the Dickosaurus. Yeah, Bonosaurus is what Beavis and Butthead call it. Yes. Uh, I I am gonna go with that. Uh, I could disappoint so many women at one time, <laughs> and I, there's nothing that makes me happier than that. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, I goddamn, I just think it would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> and granted, you could probably find a lot of neat stuff to stick in your forehead pocket, but but. Uh, <laughs> But I've got to go with the uh, the dicks lined all the way up and down the back. <laughs> Jeremy Joseph? I'm definitely going with the dicks up and down the back. I mean, it's not even a fucking question for yeah. me. Uh, I, and I, this takes me back to my junior high days. <laughs> back when, when wet willies were a fucking thing. <laughs> I would have been the main target of that oh, shit. Was, uh, and they probably wouldn't have even had to lick their finger for it. And meanwhile... My first junior high slow dance. Oh, how great would that have been? <laughs> I don't know. Don't don't didn't they go up to you and said you gotta keep enough room for, for between you and Jesus and your girl? Didn't you have to tell didn't they do that? I didn't grow up in the twenties, you jack off. Uh-huh. <laughs> Nor did I go to Catholic school. <laughs> I don't know. I was just, I just, you know, joshing with you. Give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Yes. <laughs> Boy, could you imagine, though, having to get up and do math problems on the chalkboard? And <laughs> your shirt's all puffed out. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to hide that with your books. <laughs> the back scratcher's a sex mm, toy. That's right. It's like going up to my wife. Hey, honey, will you scratch me? Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Boy, that would suck to slip and fall in the ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do those dicks have balls? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. They're fully functional. Uh, you would get the happy ending no matter where you got them. <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely. You, you would. I'm th- I think they'd like that too. If uh, you know, you go to the right spots. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, they who I don't know the people that are giving you back massage. Like, God, is that they a- don't like doing that? They get nothing <laughs> out of that. Oh, back full of dicks. <laughs> You get if somebody with a back full of vaginas, you can make a ladder. Sure you could. <laughs> You'd have dudes lining up. Yeah, I'll rub your back. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. You want a back walking massage? No thanks. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Do we, have, uh, do we have any shows coming up for you, Derek, at all? No. no. I am uh, non-booked right now. Non-booked? Yes, cool, sir. Cool. Well, um, that's been a, a great episode. I know it's some sad news. We'll appreciate Jeremy Joseph for as much time as we got left with you. Um, but uh, like we yeah, said. I'm, uh, it's still too many <coughs> fucking episodes to count. Yeah, I know. But it, it's not like you're going away forever. It, no. You're, you're going to come back every once in a while. And those epi- episodes great will be. once in a while. Yeah. Those will be epic. I'm going to be so busy with my own podcast. It's going to be. I know. I know. It's going to be the next big hit. It sure is. God, I don't think you could do it. I don't think you have the patience to do it. (laughs) 
I, I don't know that it's patience so much as the desire. Okay, well, that's, fair, fair enough. I got better shit to do. I, I would be down in my basement, and the fucking PlayStation would just be calling to me. <laughs> I could either record this bullshit or <laughs> kill guys. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, thank you very much uh, for listening to another excellent episode. We sincerely do appreciate all of you that uh, watched the episode, and even more to those who actually came. We appreciate all of you. Um, and, Except uh, for that one fucking guy <laughs> who was sick. <laughs> right. Uh, but, guys, uh, keep on uh, sharing the stuff for our show. It's helping us grow. We sincerely do appreciate it. And, as always, <clears throat> if you like us, guys, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope someone shows up to your live show dressed in an I Heart Jeremy Joseph t-shirt, which at first you think is really awesome until he follows you home and sneaks Ambien into your food, which causes you to go into a fit of rage. And once you find out there are no new episodes of ALF, that will be airing. In fact, the final episode aired on March 24th, 1990, leaving you with so many questions unanswered and nothing pisses you off more than curiosity. So you quit the podcast you're on, but right before your last show, you beat the host to death with a stupid fucking championship belt. And now you're on the run and living in high in North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if you don't like us, <laughs> tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. <laughs>